Ramana put it so easy already. He said, self surrender. So, what do we surrender? Does the self surrender itself? Language can be confusing. So, the apparent separate person trying to surrender will have great difficulties. It would be like a suicidal attempt. The separate self surrenders itself. It can get very challenging for the separate self because it doesn't know how to do that really. Rightly so, because there is no reality to this separate self. So the separate self has to get out of the way for surrender to happen. It's rather a letting go than an active act of will power. It's a getting out of the way with my ideas about myself, the feelings that convince me that I am a separate self that needs to be defended, protected. Acknowledged. If it is true that reality is non-dual as one, and that the separate self is just an image, an idea appearing in this reality. Then it is only consciousness, the true self, the one and only real self, that is able to surrender. And even that is not quite true. We can see and understand that this consciousness, this loving awareness, its nature is to be surrendered. It's just another word for what I often call to be open, the openness, the openness of the heart we spoke about last week. This openness allows us to tap in back into that surrendered, welcoming, accepting, it's all okay beingness. It sounds like a big thing, maybe for the separate me, like a big mountain. The challenge, challenges of life might seem so overwhelming, so big, 
for some these days. That this idea of a separate me is convincingly believing that I, the separate self, have to take care of it. I, the separate self, am in charge. I need to change myself. I need to change this and that to be able to accept, to surrender, to welcome based on the understanding that I have. But the only mountain, so to speak, that is in the way is this idea of me. So what we are really surrendering on that path, so to speak, is this idea of myself, those feelings of myself, those perceptions that pretend that myself is a separate self, all the old beliefs, feelings, perceptions that belong to the old debunked package of me as a separate me is what we have to surrender. Constantly to the truth that we already have discovered that myself is not this bundle of thoughts, feelings and perceptions. Myself is the awareness, the consciousness that is aware of them. It's invisible, it's not an object, it's nothing that can be grasped or can be manipulated or changed in my favor due to the circumstances. I am this silent background and I'm okay with what is happening on the objective level, on the phenomenal level. I have signed, I consciousness have agreed to everything that is coming up in my, in our dream, in our world. In the deepest understanding, we know that this is our own creation, not as an ego, not as a new age phenomena that we're going to manifest Ferraris or things like that for us. But everything that comes into our perception has been checked and given permission to manifest, to be created. So why would I fight against what is happening in me, what is happening in the world, when it's a reflection, a projection of our consciousness. And the surrendered state, so to speak, our true self has not only signed and created all of that, but is in its intelligence, knowing 
surpassing the limitations of the mind in its intelligence, knowing the bigger picture, the big picture, knowing that what is created, what is coming into existence as appearance, felt sense appearance, that's why it's so dramatically convincing to our bodies and minds, is what is meant to happen, 